Oh man, I just get so fed up with myself sometimes, I'm not even gonna lie. What's going on everyone? It's your girl Adi getting at you guys with another Adi's Art Struggles podcast episode. Today is July 27th, 2024 on a Saturday. And um, I believe it's about 4 o'clock, 4.30, something like that. Um, I actually just ordered groceries from Walmart, Walmart pickup, and it's not going to be available until 9 to 10. So, I mean, that's fine, whatever. But, um, yeah, I still have a headache. If you guys listened to the previous episode, I think I mentioned that I had a headache. I still have it. Uh, didn't... I didn't get any, uh, well, I didn't take any Advil, um, just trying to stay hydrated. Um, Yeah, but anyhow, um, I'm actually in the process of painting six corn maidens all together. And I thought I was going to start out with their shawls, but I'm not doing that. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I'm actually starting on their headdresses. So, um, I did the front part of the ornaments with the color yellow, um, because it needs to be done twice. So yellow and red, they have to be done twice, um, for it to get opaque because they're very transparent. So I have to do them twice. So that's what's kind of holding me up. Um, but I'm not going to do their shawls until I get to the red. So after the yellow, it's going to be turquoise and then it's going to be red. Um, but I only done the front side of the ornaments with yellow. So after I take this break with you guys, I'm going to start the back, the back of the ornaments with yellow twice. And, um, yeah, it's already kind of, like I don't want to say that it's getting late, but I would like to at least get to the other side of the yellow, have it be done twice, and then, I don't know, maybe, like, take a nap or something, because I'm, I'm wanting to go out and do some deliveries just to get out of the house, right? And then uh, while I'm out, I can just go ahead and pick up my curbside on my way home. So that's the plan. Things never come to, things never go the way that you planned, at least with me. And uh, now hearing myself say that, I could see why Rob just doesn't. (laughs) Um, But he's never liked planning even before he met me. So I shouldn't take it personal right now. But... (laughs) But, um, yeah, I have a headache. Uh, I think what I should do is just go ahead and take at least one Advil. And then, um, yeah, do what I can with the yellow and then go ahead and take a nap. So, um, yeah, and I have a man coming tomorrow. Or, no, he's coming Monday. Um, today's Saturday. Um, I have a man coming on Monday to fix my awning because yo yeah monsoon season is here in arizona i think i talked about that briefly and yeah it was literally picking up the awning and slamming it down and it pretty much shook my whole house like that was pretty insane um now it's all dented bent out of shape and it needs to be replaced um he quoted me $300. So, I mean, I'm cool with that as long as I don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I know construction and uh, I'm not doing that. (laughs) I don't have the vehicle to transport and getting an awning delivered and you having to do it in this Arizona heat. No, I'm good. Especially with a headache like this. Mm, No. I'm good. Yeah, take it. Take the money. I'm not doing it. Thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, 
yeah so that's going down on monday um so oh my god yeah i'm i'm tired um i do feel like it's just this headache it's just this headache that's making me feel like this and i'm actually watching a um um it's on bob ross's channel but there's a guy i've never seen this man before but i guess he's been doing live tutorials in the style of bob ross and i guess he's like a certified bob ross instructor i've never seen this man before but he does freaking excellent work i was like wow i'm fucking loving this and um yeah <laughs> there's no way i could do a bob ross painting like i have thought about it like i've seen people on youtube do like bob ross challenges and i just don't i don't think i could do that because i mean i don't know um they they do it very quick and i'm just like wait what like what are you guys doing wait 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 stop 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 and then it's like a bunch of stopping and rewinding and you know because i'm watching all these other channels attempt doing it and it came out awesome like it was just like oh that's pretty neat if they could paint like that i could probably paint like that but um i guess landscapes aren't my interest unless it has something to do with like um um like the sky clouds um i'm not interested in painting happy little trees like i'm i'm just not I, that's not i don't care um textures in mountains is intriguing to me i'm not interested in painting waterfalls um log can uh, what is it log cabins like you know houses you know like i'm not interested it's just yeah it's just the sky clouds and textures in a mountain and like um what this guy was doing um he actually painted in the background like turquoise trees or like a emerald green color and that's what grabbed my attention because i was like whoa like i've never you know it, it's almost like he was using colors that are very vibrant that you really don't see in nature but for some reason it's recognizable which is very strange but he uh did like some kind of texture where it, it was like um like foggy and i was like i love that and i would love to try to attempt doing that but i don't know i i just can't do it right now i have to <laughs> i have to do these ornaments but um yo as i was painting um you know i just want to bring this up very very quickly and again i'm not trying to bring people down with me so if you are a spiritual person and you know you you're all about positive vibes and things like that i totally respect that I, I understand that. So right now, I would like for you guys to protect yourselves, right? Keep your keep your happiness up here, okay? Like way, way up here. But um, I'm just bringing this up because I'm pretty sure, like, if you're an artist, somewhere you have taught um, someone how to either do something, you know, like like artistic, like you're you're you've taught you've you've done teachings of some kind of art um or you've kind of shown your process to someone whether it's like a demonstration or whether it's like a tutorial or you get what i'm saying right um i was thinking about um something that happened like a few years ago and i promise to keep this as short as i can but um you know there was a time where i have not shown everything that i was doing because back then i was doing a lot of furniture projects you know i'm a woodworker i had blueprints they were all stolen um you know i just i had my own my own thing right and um i was gonna hire someone and it was almost like 
his father wanted to encourage his children to learn all what they could from me and run with it. Take it from me and run with it. And I don't know why this particular family like came up in my mind as I was painting. Because when I was painting, I was in a really good place. Like I was like, you know, this is like, this feels so good to me. Like, you know, I'm, I, I'm just really enjoying this, right? And I was just thinking about it, you know, think about them. And I was wondering like, okay, maybe they're thinking about doing something like that, or maybe they're actively already doing it. And, um, you know, for me, it, you know, I'm too tired to get angry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in a good place. You know, like, yeah, I'm tired, but I'm in a good place. But I was just thinking about it like, okay, I feel like they came up in my brain for a reason, you know, because I'm not looking for things to get angry about to to kill my own happiness, to kill my own mood, right? Because I already do that enough when I'm out, you know, doing things outside of art. Um, and I was just thinking like, damn, like, you know, they, if they're out doing it, um, it was dishonest how they're, how they've taken it and they're trying to replicate and copy and, you know, do all of these things. And it's like, I do hope it falls apart, you know? Um, it, like I said, it was dishonest how they were doing it, you know, just, just a thought process of, oh, let's take, you know, learn everything from her and then we'll, we'll take everything. And as many times as my house has been broken into on the reservation, um, I, it would not, you know, I'm not allowing it to, you know, I'm not going to put this shit to the side and be like, oh, they would never steal my, bl my blueprints. But um, it wouldn't, yeah, I I'm not going to let it pass me that they, that there's not a possibility, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that was just, you know, something that came across my mind. And I'm talking about it because, you know, for me, <clears throat> um, it it does have to do with my art business. That was something that I had to... I had to get over. Um, I was very hurt. I was very angry that my blueprints were stolen. Um, you know, and it was a lot of trial and error for me to get all of those measurements in the correct way that I needed them to and have it all just taken. And it's like, it's like all the work is done for them. And it pisses me off. Well, it pissed me off. I'm not so mad about it anymore. But, um, you know, it it is something that is a part of me. And I'm going to continue to keep doing it. I'm going to continue to keep making furniture and, and all of those things. And, you know, with the way they are and their mindset and just how they live their lives, how they treat each other, how they treat themselves. It's just like, yeah, they're they're never gonna they're never gonna do it. You know what I mean? So, um, is that a relief for me? Yes, it is. But it's just, I, I guess the thought that came to my mind was like, like damn, you know. And um, it was in my mind very briefly, and I just thought I would briefly talk to you guys about it. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, for artists is we are their creatives. We do the work. It's our imagination. It's our personalities. It's our, it, everything goes into our art. And when it's taken, whether it's the product ex itself that has been taken, or if it's your blueprints, or if it's, um, you know, you made a design and then you just were happily just showing it and sharing it on social media and then some corporation takes it and they mass produce it without your permission 
you know, it's a scary thing, you know, and how do you go about fighting or getting back your art? That is why I trademark all of my videos. I trademark all my photos because you are not going to get away with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to get on here and, you know, just talk and, you know, take a break with you guys and just talk about what I was thinking about as I was painting. But I don't know if you guys have ever gone through anything like that or is that a fear of you guys that someone might just take your artwork. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with this. A few years ago, uh, I attended a art show. It was my parents' um, art that they were presenting and um, I was walking around the show and it was an all Native American show and this guy comes up to me um, I think he, I think he did furniture as well, but um, I've never seen this man before. Like that was the first time then that I have seen his work, and I was like, "Oh, this is really, really nice." Um, he did furniture, but his style was like just it was stained. Like he stained the furniture in like uh, unnatural unnatural colors right but it looked beautiful like it looked nice and we got into furniture making and basically this guy was like oh you gotta let people copy and I was like excuse me and he was like yeah because you're inspiring others and I'm just like I can inspire people but they don't need to copy what I'm doing you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that a bookshelf is a bookshelf. It could be made the same or differently. That's not the point. The point is the design and, like, the the measurements, what kind of molding you put on it. You know, whatever. Like, that's your signature or, you know, if you include a certain thing in your art uh, materials, in your artwork, that is kind of like a thing to let the customers know that, oh, this is an Audrey Alcoin of a piece. But see, the guy was like, oh, but you don't own it. And it's like, well, if I created it and if it's something that I chiseled myself that was not mass produced, it is my work. This is how anyone can identify my piece of furniture. And he was like, oh, but you got to share it. And I said, I don't have to teach another artist to copy my work. If he copies it and if he mass produces it with the same techniques or whatever, he's stealing my art. And he was like, oh, no, it's motivation. It's inspiration to that, to that artist. And I was like, you're a piece of shit. Because... His furniture pieces are so basic and there's nothing wrong with basic because my furniture, it is basic. But it's the painting that is what makes it different. It makes it, you know, my own. But his style, it was just, you know, I could tell you every single step on how he made his furniture without him telling me you know that's kind of you know if, if you're in the same business you know like woodworking furniture business you can pretty much look at something and be like okay this is how I believe it was made unless the person tells me like oh no it was built this other way but his furniture was very basic and it had nothing but stain on it you stain it you know, you sand it down, you stain it again, and then you varnish it. So there's no, there's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, his, if, if staining was his thing, then I would be like, oh, yeah, that's, that's this artist's piece. I recognize the style of the furniture, which is basic, and he stains. But mine is very different. And... The way this guy was like, oh, yeah, you got to let other people copy. 
because it's inspiration, it's motivation, and it's like they don't need to copy your shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm going to make a whole nother episode about this. Uh, I'll probably bring up the same story in, in that episode that I plan to do, but I was listening to this art audiobook. And the guy was like, oh, you shouldn't be original, um, you know, because you're pretty much buried, um, you know, be in with the competition. And I don't agree with that. I just don't. Um, it just makes it harder. And it's almost like, yeah, if you if you continue to do that, it's almost like your art is junk. Your art is junk mixed in with with everyone else's junk <laughs> you know what i'm saying um uh, but that's just my opinion i'm still listening to that audiobook so maybe i'm speaking too soon like i'm trying to you know give that audiobook some grace and you know i i feel like i need to go back over those chapters because when i'm listening to this audiobook i'm at the gym like i'm running on a treadmill and i can't <laughs> i can't be taking notes or anything like that but as i was running i was getting pissed and it was making me want to run faster and harder, <laughs> which is probably a good thing. But um, it was just insulting to hear that, like, you know, and he's trying to say, like, oh, nobody's born an artist. And I'm like, fuck you. Like, yes, I was born an artist. You know, there's some people that were that were born with a fucking paintbrush in our hands, you know, as soon as we come out of the womb, you know what I mean? And this guy's like, oh, nobody was born an artist. And, you know, to me, that's very, like, discouraging. Like, that's a person that says those things to a person that wants to paint. That is, that is something that you say to someone who is not artistic, someone that is not creative. Like, this dude is talking to those people. But when this dude says this to an artist and it is like a fucking slap in the face, it's like, who the fuck are you, you know? Um, but again, it's just my opinion. You know, I have to go back and re-listen to the chapters, take notes, and I'll be, I'll, I'll address everything. But um, I just don't believe it should be done like that. It's very disrespectful to the artist. And it does make us pull back on sharing our art, knowing that someone's going to be out there copying us and taking from us. And, you know, um, yeah, I can get into techniques and, and all of those things. Those are pretty universal. But when it's your style and your trademark, keep the fuck away because, yeah, you're, you're copying at this point. You're, you're stealing is what you're doing. So um, drop it in the comments if you agree or disagree. You know, I'm not trying to argue with anybody. Uh, I'm always going to feel this way because me and my parents and my granddad, our art has been stolen and taken before. People have indeed copied us and we don't appreciate it. We're not like, oh, we're so happy that we inspired you. Fuck you. You're, you've taken our precise designs and you're selling them as your own we should be suing your asses but drop it in the comments how do you guys feel about this and um again i'm not trying to pull anyone down or put any kind of negativity into you guys this is some real shit okay this is something that belongs to you it should not be taken by anybody. That's all I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to kick on the mic again for today. Uh, I'm going to get back to the workbench and continue painting the headdresses. And uh, I'll post a link to show you guys what I'm working on. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your projects. And I will talk to you guys in the next Adi's Art Struggles podcast. Yeah. <laughs>